of the horses for the sixth race. First elimination of the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes for trotting three-year-olds. One is Uncle Pappy, owned by Tom Graham Jr., Buzz Graham of Salem. He trains, and Dale Heitman gets the call behind Uncle Pappy. Two will be payday, owned by Phil Langley, by Lester McKeever Jr., by Billy Johnson, all of Chicago. Jim Eaton trains, Eric Ledford is up. Three, I'm a, M.A. Sparkle, owned by Hyla Dworak of Lovington. Irvin Miller trains, Andy Miller drives. Four is Hockhauser, owned by Dick Baylog of St. Charles. John Booten trains the trainer with Tony Morgan. Five, let's get ready to, to trot. Owned by Dale Adams, J.D. Finn, Brenda Watson of Marshall, Newton, and Fairfield. J.D. Finn trains and drives. Six T's at T's, owned by Dirk Simpson, Camilla Larson, and Tim Searle of Springfield. Simpson trains Camilla Larson in the bike. Seven, Lil Red Vet, owned by Elizabeth and Kathy Rutherford of Michigan and Illinois. Kathy trains and drives. Eight, Willie B. of Saluki, owned by Ray Hanna of Aldemont, by Dick Corson of St. Peter. Hannah trains Dave McGee in the bike. Nine, Flip This, owned by Doctors William and Brenda Langdon of Tams. Candy Schooley trains. Fred Finn Jr. is up. And number 10, completing the field, is Scum Corner Vic. Scum Corner Vic is co-owned by Ruth Burkett of LRA, George Knockmoose of West Salem, Delbert Burkett trains, Connell Willis drives, Scum Corner Vic. Five will qualify for the $50,000 championship drive here next week from this race. They're at the post, and the gate is moving. Ten trotters behind the starter, and here they come. They're off and trotting. Gum Corner Vic rushing from post ten. Inside him, out quick is Flip This. That pair battle early. Out quickly also is M.A. Sparkle as they drive toward the turn, spread across the racetrack, and now first to drop to the inside is Flip This. He'll have the lead momentarily for Fred Finn, but on the outside of him, Gum Corner Vic continues his drive toward the front as they race now toward the quarter-mile mark. Getting out third and still there on the inside is Payday. Racing behind Payday fourth, Uncle Pappy. As they reach the quarter, the new leader, Gum Corner Vic, he finally makes the top, and he'll drop in for Connell Willis past the quarter mile mark, 29 one fifth. They race down the back stretch. Gum Corner Vic has the lead. Second behind him, flip this. Third to the inside is Payday. Fourth as they head down the backside, Uncle Pappy. Five is M.A. Sparkle, trotting six, Hockhauser. Seven, let's get ready to trot. Racing eight, he's a tease. Nine down the backside, Lil Red Vet. And trending the field, moving right now is Willie B. Saluki. Here he comes from dead last. Willie B. Saluki and Dave McGee underway from the back of the pack. They're approaching the half, and on the outside, leading now by a neck as they reach the half mile mark, pushing his way to the front goes Payday. They were there, and 59 4, they're headed past the draw gate. And on the outside, Payday. Now fighting back on the inside, Gum Corner Vic. Following cover on the outside comes Uncle Pappy. He's positioned third. Inside him, flip this is fourth, now third. Five M.A. Sparkle, he has trot. He's following cover. Hockhauser has trot. He's moving and uh, trying to move up. Willie B. Saluki instead is off stride at the back of the field. They're race racing toward the three-quarter. The leader, Gum Corner Vic, he's controlled it all the way. Backed out three wide. Here comes Uncle Pappy with authority. 130 for three-quarters. Uncle Pappy on the outside underway and Hockhauser about to come four wide top of the lane they're five across the racetrack there are nine trotters in contention they're in the lane a wall coming from everywhere Hockhauser on the outside trotting faster than anybody between them is Uncle Pappy Hockhauser Uncle Pappy and they sparkle the wire Hockhauser maybe photo with Uncle Pappy M.A. Sparkle back a neck. He's third, 159. It looked like Hawkhauser, but that's a tight photo. Now into the winner's circle comes the half-brother to Plesak. Owned by the same Dick Baylog, trained by the same John Butenshain, who trains Plesak. Tony Morgan, the driver. Here's Plesak's half-brother, Hawkhauser. Hockhauser by Meadow Branch Jersey from Astute Yankee by Speed Bowl. And 159 in this win.
behind him, the former national driving champion, president of the Illinois Harness Horsemen Association, Tony Morgan. So a driving finish by Morgan in that one, and he picked up the win by a whisker with a Kauser.